flag looks just like the British flag. Well, sure. I, I made the Louisiana purchase. And you know, folks, it doubled the size of the United States. But, gee, Napoleon's price was steep. Fifteen million dollars. Yikes! Now, let's see. Who can I call on to make a flag? Of course! Betsy Ross, best flag maker in Philadelphia. Mr. President, you've come to the right gal. I know flags, and I got some new designs here I'm sure you're gonna love. Ahem. Now, first let's look at the flags you've tried so far. First, we had the Liberty Tree flag. Lovely. But is it a flag or an air freshener? That stinks. Next, Moultrie's flag. Simple. But the moon reminds me of an outhouse. What's that say about our country? Come to America? A nice place to go to the bathroom? No, not enough punch. You're right. Blush it. Next, this design with our national symbol... A beaver? I don't think so. Next. The gas that don't tread on me flag with the rattlesnake. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I hate snakes. Yeah, reminds me of my lawyer. Snakes are yucky, so come to America. It's full of snakes. It's poison, I tell you. Gee, I, I don't know. But hey, fangs for the memories. Now that we know what doesn't work, let's take a look at some ideas I love. And I think you will, too. The winner's flag. Because everyone loves a winner. It's a loser. Next. How about the black flag? Gets rid of enemies and hideous bugs, too. Kill it. Next. The white flag. So simple, so elegant. Not only did Lewis and Clark explore the Louisiana Territory, folks, they mapped an overland route to the Pacific Ocean. We gained what we wanted. Land. So French. I will not surrender. Okay, maybe a little. This is where the magic happens. The happy face flag. To me, it says happy country. To me, it says airsick bag. Next. Now cut that out. This one is the tie-dye flag. Tell me it doesn't just scream peace. Yeah, piece of junk. You'll love what's next. I'm calling it Washington's Boys. And I'm calling it a night. Next. Gee, if those designs aren't working for you, let me show you something else that I'm sure you're gonna... Oh, Meshuggah and the Kid. Hold it. That's it. I love it. This is the one. Huh? It's perfect. The red symbolizes our country. Then, separating it by white stripes shows our independence. And the white stars in a sky of blue represents our new nation, founded on liberty and justice for all. Impossible to get any of these people to agree on anything. Like last week, for instance, we wanted to order in takeout, plus a bonus. With 13 stars and stripes representing the 13 colonies, the stars and stripes. Exactly what I was going for. And so, in the summer of 1776, America finally has a flag to call its own, thanks to Bitsy Ross. But, oh, the sacrifices I've made for this country. 